What's up everybody? We are back on the YouTube channel, on the vlog. We are doing some more work on the Ultra 4 yet again. We're going to get the sway bar done. We're going to get the limit straps and a bunch of other stuff on the IFS right now. There's clearly no winning this battle. It is still snowing. All right, we are working on the Ultra 4 right there tonight. Last you saw, we were working on the steering, getting that bracket done. Still got some more work to do on that, but we're gonna take a break on that, work on some other stuff. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Joe's using the bathroom right now. And we have this fuse box here. And it's got one that says bathroom lights. Let's see if he gets mad I killed the lights. Really? <laughs> he's so mature. As he's so original, turning the light off in the bathroom again. It's funny. Hmm. Your reaction is more funny. <laughs> so this is the sway bar here, and there's a link that connects it to here. Uh, there's an arm that connects it, and then a link that's gonna connect to here. But we've got to make a bracket, so we're going to figure that out. And then we have our limit straps. we got these guys here. We're actually going to have two of them stacked so that you have dual straps, especially with IFS. And we're probably going to make a mount somewhere right there up to this. Somewhere up here. we got to work on that. Uh, so we're going to get all that done. we got to take some measurements. We're going to go through this thing top to bottom tonight, make a complete list of everything we need to get done this week. Uh, if there's any parts we need, we'll get on that. Uh, but past that, um, we're, we're coming together pretty well. A bunch of little things to do, but uh, feeling confident that we should be good. Got the sway bar on, and we took some measurements, and we determined links. So we made up, uh, I just used some one inch DOM, and we have, uh, just like we did on the steering, we have these welding bungs. You can see these here. And they weld in. So we've got these and then a jam nut and we got our measurement where this is gonna go. So now we're gonna figure out on the arm where it's gonna hit. Got some measurements, let's go put it in the computer and cut it on the plasma table. As you could see, we've got the bracket cut out and 
fits pretty good. It, uh, we put these four holes in it because we were talking about how we want to attach it. And uh, we determined a 3 8 bolt would be ideal. And it's not too big uh, and it should be a good size. Uh, so this bump here, we've got to set this right and make sure it's hitting, which based on everything, it should be right where it needs to be. And then the reason we're doing this bump pad because we want metal out here, one, it's going to add some strength to the overall bracket, having it bolted all the way out here. And two, uh, over time, as this bump pad hits the aluminum, it'll dent it, wear it out, and I might cause some issues long term. So if we have a piece of steel that can absorb it, uh, we think that that'll hold up better. Don't know. That's our opinion, and we'll find out. Uh, we'll find out down the road. So the first thing uh, we're going to do here, since we're going to use these bolts, is we're going to go ahead and drill these out, and then we're going to tap them all. So this aluminum is thick enough that we can just bolt it right to it. And then this tab here, which was designed to be uh, part of the bracket. Um, I don't remember exactly why we did that, but I think we just didn't know how we were attaching it. But this hole will go all the way through, and we'll put a nut on the back side of that. So we'll get these marked, drilled, and uh, we'll get them tapped. You can't get blamed for any mistakes. Yeah, you, you always get blamed. Joe and I, uh, we were just talking and we kind of were thinking about it. And on this, we don't want it to look kind of all gaudy with big bolts and different things. So I actually have these, you know, focus, there we go. They're uh, countersunk bolts and they're three eighths. So they're perfect. So I think uh, I have a countersink over there. We'll countersink the plate and flush mount these and that will look kind of cool. Uh, Cause nothing will be sticking up and I think it'll look good. So. We'll let Joe finish tapping these holes. I'm gonna go play at the countersink and we'll see where we go.
we got some tabs tacked on. Everything's nice and square now. Uh, sway bar is connected there. So we're gonna go ahead and jump to the other side. Uh, and then we'll figure out the limit straps and that should be a good portion of stuff done because that was kind of uh, some important stuff there. So let's go do some more. So as you see with these limit straps, um, right now they uh, they can't go in. That's because we're fully extended. When we put these in, we measure up uh, to estimate about an inch of stretch. Um, different limit straps have a different stretch amount, but you got to remember the constant back and forth of going uh, of of the motion going up and down is going to wear on stuff. So we measure an inch short, and you can kind of see here because of the radius of how this arcs, that's where the bolt hits, and as Joe brings it up, it brings it in to alignment. And then we have a limiter that stops before the shock bottoms out, because you don't want the inside of the shock, the piston, slamming up against the seal head, because that's just a, it's a C-clip ring in there, that's not designed to hold it. And then also you damage different parts of your shocks, and the worst of them all, is you can damage your CVs. Now, with our travel, we are in no way, shape, or form at a point where we could damage our CVs, but protection is still king. So, we are using double limit straps, shortened, uh, shortened the travel by one inch, and it works good. Good fit, too. And we use weld washers in here, as you can see. There'll be another one right here, and uh, it spaces it out a little bit. Actually, we only need one. That's not bad. But so that we got the sway bar in and uh, making some progress. Except for the misalignment spacers aren't in there. <laughs> Excuse me, I don't know the other one. There. Well, you have right, one on wait. the bolt right there, and there's Where's the one, one? Oh, right is down that it? there. Yep, that's it right there. And that's why we use those shims in there. Things go in very easily. There's no play, but there's just enough space to slide things in and be good to go. Like I said, uh, Devin is making me some aluminum links here. These are just that steel we cut down and added the bungs on. Um, we are gonna go a little bit longer with it, but uh, so we'll have aluminum there matching everything else. Um, yeah, so this is coming together really well. The passenger side, we had plenty of room. There's no issues and everything's pretty good there. The driver's side, we're running into a little bit of an issue here. We got to figure out the brake master cylinder is totally in our way. So we're trying to figure that out right now where we want to position it, which we have some room to play and whatnot, but hoo wee, this is difficult. So we're thinking and thinking. And thinking some more. The good news is, Joe has a plan. 
The bad news is we got to cut this little bracket off. So where and this hits, apparently you don't know what size that is. We actually have enough room that the limit strap could slide up in there, but this bracket's in the way. And what it does is support the weight of our hydro boost. And uh, actually we have a video on that. I'll post a link right there. You can watch that one. Um, but this keeps the whole weight of this from sagging down. It's supported up here, but this is just the extra bracket. So we're going to pull this off, cut it off, and we'll figure out how to support this later. But right now we need to get the limit strap mounted because that is a little more position sensitive. Well, folks, we have limit straps, duals. We have our sway bar. We also bent this, didn't, uh, didn't show that on camera. <laughs> Forgot about that. Um, but we bent these out to get the angle we wanted. Um, so we were debating if we're gonna move this side or not to match that side. But at the end of the day, they're both doing the same job. And I don't know, we may move it, but probably not. Um, but everything is hanging on limit straps now, so we get that. What's that? I said symmetry. Symmetry? Yeah, we'll move it. Okay, Joe says we'll move it, so we'll move it. Um, that shouldn't be too difficult. We don't have the space constraints like that side does. Uh, anyways, so I know a little less eventful, but a bunch of little stuff done. That's uh, Getting this knocked out was a big deal, so... The only thing I got left is finishing up the steering bracket in there. I'm still working on that. Um, and then the last thing up here, besides just the lacing tube and all the gussets we got to put, uh, we have to make a brake bracket to bolt the caliper onto the knuckle. Um, but past that, minus the diff stuff, um, we're coming along. We're coming along. I would say we'll probably have the majority of this wrapped up in the next day or so, and then go from there. It's really high. I know. I feel like I'm looking up at the sky. We're looking up at everything. 
All right, so you see what's going on? Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed, make sure to go get subscribed. We do a giveaway every 500 subscribers. Guess what? We're only about 180 subscribers away to our next subscribers at 4,500. That is awesome. Thank you to everybody that subscribed. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and leave some comments down below. We love talking with everyone, um, answering questions, discussions. Uh, people have questions why we do what we do. We love talking to everyone, so make sure you leave us some comments. Um, but we'll have some more videos coming out here very soon. We're trying to get them out every other day or so. Uh, but right now, as we told you, big push on the Ultra 4. So you see what we got going on, and we will see you guys next time. Fist bump for you, fist bump for you. <laughs>